Unhappily, there are still lots of ill-mannered misers flapping around Riffenstone. So I'd like to see you, my faithful subjects, continue to set an example by donating whatever you can to the fundraiser to help Voice of Reason or Screenplay or whatever the hell his name is pay his rent. And while you're being charitable, I shall be insightful. The Bard of Shale asks, are there any other objects you can channel your consciousness through? Not that I can find. So far it's just my cursed body and that asbestos replica of my head. The Bard of Shale adds, I think Marble Pie might have a mini statue of you in her room. Oh, I fear she wishes never to see or hear from me or anything resembling me ever again. I can't imagine why she'd take my attempts to enact justice upon her sister she deep down despises so seriously. It's not like I was the one who sucked out every morsel of what little love she had for that criminal. NBC Mekachu asks, will there ever be a court held in the location of that replica bust? Hell no, it's far too antiseptic in there. Actually, it's very like a septic. Terrific Rotten Princess asks, what do you think of the school of friendship? I believe I just told you. Techcraft writes, you need a Burger King crown. <laughs> One time in a fit of frustration, the dorky green misfit ripped his Pizza Pizza 50th anniversary party hat to shreds. He's been mourning it ever since. He'd be so jealous if I donned a Burger King crown. <laughs> Stuart Barclay asks, who is the most underrated character in the show? Minuet. She's an absolute sweetheart, but folks brush her off just because she doesn't go by her stupid fandom name. Placeholder asks, what is your favorite curse word? See episode 39. Equestria guy asks, if Griffins had Neuric powers, how would you use that power? That depends. What the hell is a Neuric? Oh. Well, I guess I'd hulk out on whoever got on my tits. YouTuber critic asks, do you have a favorite play? Please. Everyone has eight 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 eight. God, how many Team America songs am I going to cover? And Samantha Powell asks, Do you think dragons would enjoy giant tortoise meat? I'm willing to bet they still do. And the only reason the bulls don't target them is because dragons are heat resistant.